Minister Attorney General Githum Wigai has moved to court to challenge the formation of the People's Assemblies in the NASA support base, the AG, in a case filed under certificate of urgency against 15 county assemblies and council of county governors asked the court to declare the formation of the assemblies illegal and unconstitutional. Also, of course, uh, they are asking them to do away with unrealistic swearing-in promises and offer real leadership already. Fifteen counties have passed a motion to form the People's Assemblies, but the chief government legal advisor argues that these are illegal actions by MCAs since there is no law requiring them to do so. Mandeleo Chapter Party is now asking to be enjoined in the suit. But let's quickly take a look at a tweet by Mandeleo Chapter and uh, leader and Machado. Chakos County Governor Alfred Mutua on the same. Before we speak to the governor by way of phone, let's take a look at some of the tweets he made this morning with regarding their intention to be enjoined in this particular case or to request to be enjoined in this particular case. Uh, that is a tweet from the verified account of Machakos Governor Dr. Alfred Mutua saying, the Mandela chapter party which has elected leaders countrywide will ask to be enjoined in this suit by the AG about the illegal people assemblies. We will also be asking the court to declare that all MCAs who unconstitutionally voted for the People Assemblies to have automatically resigned. That is a tweet made earlier on in the day by Machakos County Governor Alfred Mutua. Uh, saying uh, that he is seeking for the resignation of MCAs in all the 15 counties um, uh, who passed the People's Assembly's motion. The governor now joins us live by way of phone here on KTN News Desk. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Mutua, for joining us here. Um, for starters, why would you want to be enjoined in this particular case as Mandeleo Chap Chap? Well, it's because as a party, we have elected officials all over the country, uh -huh. and we do believe that... Uh, the reason the party exists is because we have a constitutional order and that our country is not a kangaroo nation. We are a country governed by the law. And the main difference that you see between the developed world and the, what you call the poor countries is the adherence to the rule of law and order. Therefore, if you have people who are elected under the constitution, and they go against the constitutional order, they contradict the constitution, then they have to face the, the consequences of doing that. Because, for example, if you read the Article 1, Subsection 2 of the constitution, it says that people exercise their power either directly or through their democratically elected representatives. That means either they do it directly through a people's assembly, so that's what's called it for assembly, or through their elected representatives. Those are the MCAs and the MPs. But it does not say you can have both at the same time. It is either or. So MCAs who voted for the People's Assemblies are basically saying we are giving back the power you gave us to represent you to yourselves as a people. Therefore, automatically they cease to be MCAs. Because so, you cannot continue to be an MCA yes. and you've given back the power that the constitution had given you. But legally, I mean, um, looking at even the, the articles, the election acts in the county government acts um, on how an MCA should resign or should rescind their duties, but there's no mention of something like that. How do you expect to argue this out in court based well, on the constitution well, and the articles? Is, uh, well... If you, a purposive reading of the, of the provision of the Constitution mm -hmm. is very clear that the Constitution is more superior than any act of Parliament. So, the, uh, the act, you know, you remember, members of county assembly are actually, there are provisions about how they are elected, there are provisions about how they are removed from office, are all set up not in the act or the election laws. They are set up in the Constitution. And so... One of the things that says, the Constitution says that if there's a contradiction in the Constitution, if there's a, con a contradiction in the Constitution, then the higher uh, echelon of the Constitution holds. And that is Article 1, Subsection 2, that says that power resides in the people. It is the people with the power. That one we agree with. And that power is exercised by 190, by themselves, as a people's assembly, 
or through elected officials. So when elected officials say they want a people's assembly, they are basically saying, then let the people decide. Let the people run their own affairs without any county assembly. Thank you for speaking to us here on KTN News. Just Dr. Alfred Mutua, party leader, Mindeleo Chapchap, as well as Machakos governors, they seek to be enjoined in uh, the case uh, filed by the Attorney General against uh, the People's Assembly notion that has so far been passed uh, by 15 counties in the country. Let's